All right, so now that we have our easy brick, um, what I want to do is bring it into Maya. Remember, Maya is our engine, so we want to really utilize Maya to its greatest advantage, and that is setting up a world with um, ease, and we can quickly go in here and say, well, this object right here, what we want is a brick wall, and that brick wall needs to have a polygon structure, and up here I have this plane, and the plane's really, really small. So I'm going to rotate it around 90 degrees. And I'm going to start thinking, well, this is my player. I know the wall is going to be big as the player, if not a little bit larger than the player, so he doesn't hit his head on the wall. So here's this. And now every window is kind of messed up at this point. So that's why I really downloaded the Mel script. So I have to go in here and say Unity Grid, and it kind of fixes that one. This one, Unity Grid, Unity Grid. Okay, now, if I hit F on the keyboard, look what happens. Nothing. I can't see a, a, a thing at all. So, this is a common problem with Maya. With big objects, big things like Maya brings in, it can't handle real big scenes. So, if I go in here and say my near clip plane, if I look at my perspective for a second, look at my near clip plane. Far clip plane equals this. I'm going to copy that over and I'm going to go to my top. And paste that in for every one of them. There we go. So now everything matches up and I can see this in all views. And now I can move it around and say, well, that's a little tall. So there we go. Good enough. Brick wall corresponding to the player. Okay, now let's add our texture to it. So let's go file, save scene as, and save this. within the shared directory of Unity. Oop. All right, and now what I want to do is go and make it a new texture. And bricks are flat by nature, so I'm going to put Lambert 2 out there, and I'm going to quickly assign it a color. And the color is going to be running off a file, and the file is sitting within And there we go. There's our lame brick wall. All right, now, uh, what I wanted to do is go like this and go File, Export Selection. And I want to just export this as my wall, FBX. It's in centimeters. And let's see if that works out. Go into Unity, and let's see the size. Remember, this is all about size of texture. It's not about how good the bricks look. Uh, I could certainly make good bricks just by going outside and taking a you know, picture of the neighbor's house. Okay, that's easy. Wow. Okay, so what just happened here? I got this thing. It's called Wall. It's sitting here. <laughs> okay, now... Everything in Maya, if we look back at Maya, remember everything has history. So first off, and it also has scale. I scaled this up quite a bit. So edit, delete by type history, and then modify freeze transformation to get it back to one, a one to one ratio, always, corresponding to my player character. Another, word, another thing I did is I exported all, what I should have said, export selection. Okay, export, make sure that's on centimeters, and export. There we go. So now let's go look back. Those few little things, it just, it's amazing how hard it is sometimes 
Okay, brick wall. If you don't just step back and see what's going on. Okay, got this little tiny brick wall. It's got a one to one ratio. And how big does it have to be in order to be a real brick wall someday? And don't forget, this is a brick wall that has one side. <laughs> gotcha, didn't I? Didn't think it was in there. But don't forget, normals. Okay, so let's delete that out. Go back into brick wall. Click and drag it out. And there's my brick wall. I could see it on this one side, but I can't see it on the other side because it has surface normals that are only on one side. So I'm just going to set this to the side and hit play. And then I'm going to run around and see. Yeah, it's about a brick. That's a really big brick, though. But remember, it was in reference to the size of uh, the king brick, or whatever that was, in Ontario. If I need to make it smaller, I can certainly do so. And that's back in Photoshop world. If I went into here and said 0.5 for tiling, 0.5 for tiling, it would make bigger bricks. And if I had two on here, if I had two on here, I'd get smaller bricks. Okay, but it's always in a one-to-one -one ratio, and I know what those bricks are. I could certainly change it back here in the engine, but now everything makes sense. Looks like I got a tiling issue here too. Because when you tile two bricks on top of each other, what's going to happen? Well, it's not going to know what to do as far as offset goes. And that would be a trickier thing to kind of master is what your offset's going to be. Is it going to be 0.5? So that's why it's important to get scale down because I won't be able to judge what offset is here. I'll always have this really weird thing going on unless I fix it back in Photoshop land. So I would have to seriously go into Photoshop and say, okay, these bricks are too big. Copy merge, paste, make a new document, and this time I need smaller bricks. Well, smaller bricks, I just hold shift, go like that, then hold command over the top of this after you hit the move tool, and then I would go image, crop, and here's my smaller bricks. So file. Save as, and now I have smaller bricks, and I can call these brick small. And what would happen is, if I wanted to really, really fix them up, I could do that. Uh, what I would do here is make sure the top row is not the same as the bottom row. And to do that, I would have to do one of these numbers. Okay, so there's a lot of ways to do this. I like this way, but I now stretch my brick and I have to be very wary of it back in um, my game engine. So there's, there's a few ways to handle this scenario. I'll put this brick small tile. Okay, now let's look at back here. And now I got a th three or four textures to play around with, with the idea of tiling the textures around. All right, so what we got? We got the ability to say, well, maybe I want the tiled versions. And now you can see the tile actually works. See? And look at that. It, did, it almost snapped back. Well, we'll get that when we get into UVs and how that works. But for right now, I would say, you know, the even if you stretch out the brick really bad, it's always going to snap back, corresponding to the UVs. So an explanation on how that works is in the next video.